<laughs> Morning. Afternoon. Afternoon. No, it's definitely PM, mate. Yeah. Right, Opka. Organised pseudo-legal commercial argument. Yeah. Opka, which... Opka litigants is the um, flavour of the day. Yep. <laughs> um, now, this 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 came up um, uh, last year, didn't it? The Meads versus yeah. Meads case uh, from our friend Emma over at Malden District Council. Yeah. And that was one of the responses uh or the or well we'll call it a response for now yeah. uh but um and uh what they didn't bank on is they didn't bank on you reading it <laughs> yeah. and the other interesting thing is now it's on all the council's websites around the country yeah exactly so, yeah so this is clearly what they're holding on to <laughs> literally holding on to this and, and 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 you know i can't see that many people reading this judgment because it's bloody huge. I mean, I, I up until just a minute ago, I didn't realise how big this was. Yeah. And you went through the whole lot. Uh, and we did do a video on that um, back back in, you know, uh, yeah. few months ago. And it yeah, absolutely but... obliterates what what she says yeah. um, it, entirely, doesn't it? Yeah. So the idea of this is just basically to go through section by section and break the sections down. Yeah. People can compare and contrast the arguments and the thinking behind people and that of, of the state. Yeah. Uh, and, uh, you know, people can decide for themselves, but I certainly think it'll help people understand uh, and argue fundamentals because a lot of this is fundamental things. Well, a lot's a waste of time. Yeah, yeah, but what I was going to say is also that um, Emma's um, uh, response uh, was actually uh, baseless because none of what we're doing uh, is, is, like is got anything to do with Otka. <laughs> <laughs> uh, probably why we never got a response after the uh, after yeah. what we uh, sent off to him. But anyway, it is by the by. Okay. Um, so, so, so today what we'll do is just introduce the judgment um, and yeah. the link at the bottom for it so people can go through it themselves. Yeah. Uh, you know, everybody will have their interpretation of it and stuff like that. But hopefully we can give people the essence of it. And some of it's going to be quite in, uh, entertaining as usual. Uh, uh, and funny. Yeah. Brilliant. Yes. <laughs> okay, so what I'll do is just start off uh, it's a little presentation that we've, I've put together. Um, and get rid of that. Should we just have a little disclaimer about free man on the land, just quickly about, um, you know, we, we, we've we never said, um, uh, people will, 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 will say, oh, but you say it's nonsense and all the rest of it. Um, well, this is what we'll see as we go through. Yeah. Because there are some good arguments that people are presenting and there's nonsense. Not yeah, absolutely. Yeah. We're just trying to decipher and, and show yeah. people what the difference is. Yeah. Basically. Okay, so we'll leave a link at the bottom. Uh and so uh where I've got the points at the top, okay, that's the point number in the judgment. But basically the courts define opca stroke freemen, whatever, D taxes, sovereign men, sovereign citizens. Church of the Ecumenical Redemption International, Moorish laws, loads of other labels apparently, um, and there's no closed list. So they lump anybody who who, who doesn't follow the box as whoever as, questions uh, is is uh, put into this category. Yeah, aren't they? But essentially, they call them people with conspiratorial perspectives <laughs> and where the ordinary person feels cheated or deceived of their rights and the common person is abused <clears throat> and that, that they believe they have a, guess what, a right to retaliate against the system. <laughs> How dare the people do that? Naughty. <laughs> and the right to retaliate against suppression. How Unbelievable. How do that? Okay, but this is in the judgment, okay? So yeah. you can see where they're coming from. Yeah. It's basically anybody that doesn't do what they told uh, and they're trying to class this group as vexatious. Yeah. 
And so basically what they say is when they come across an Opka litigant, you know, it's an abuse of the existing process mm -hmm. where people post purposefully say and stand outside the rules and law and that they actually you'll see they just generally have a different set of rules uh, and law just not again the state's one yeah of course yeah. they allege that uh, people that argue these sort of things uh, in, have an intent a positive intent to be abusive disruptive and break the legal uh, process that govern conduct. <laughs> so uh, they really do, <clears throat> fundamentally, the substance is anybody that questions the uh, existing paradigm, literally, yeah. they try and push into OPCA. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They ask all awkward questions sort of thing. So generally, the purpose of the arguments, not arguments, uh, is that one doesn't have to pay tax, uh, one does not have to pay child support, one does not have to pay spousal support, one does not have to pay attention to traffic laws. Uh, they're allegedly secret but accessible bank accounts that contain nearly unlimited funds if you only know the trick to unlock them. Both. Um, you can transfer a bill into a check with a stamp and some colored writing. You're only subject to criminal sanction if you agree to be subject to criminal sanction. You can make yourself independent of any state obligation if you so desire. You can unilaterally force and enforce demands on other persons, institutions, and the state. Now, that they will be talking a lot about because uh, people will probably notice a few parallels there. <laughs> right. Yeah. Uh, it seems to be exactly the opposite. Yeah. They force their demands on other people yeah uh so really the judge's opinion in this judgment is it's pseudo legal nonsense errors are obvious and manifest and we'll look at some of these and the concepts are contemptibly stupid and then at 77 he says blatantly idiotic <laughs> so so this is how they label you if you yeah. question the existing paradigm that they live in. Yeah. Um, so just a few examples of what it, the point is trying to make is, so Mr. Meads, and that was written as Dennis Dash Larry, two dots Meads semicolon, is the Mr. Meads who appeared in court. He says the Mr. Meads in all capital letters is the one who should pay child and spousal support. So where is Mr. Meads then? Okay. Mm. But this here shows you some of the sort of things that they do. In regards to the way they present themselves, they use a lot of apparently Latin maxims. Now, that is interesting because uh, the courts are making positive steps to use normal language. So... Uh, which we've covered in other videos. Yeah, yeah, of course. Yeah. Apparently, they use powerful sounding language. Um, documents are often ornamented with many strange markings and seals, and we'll look at these things. And the litigants engage in peculiar ritual like in court conduct. Now, that there is interesting in itself, okay, because uh, again, the mirror uh, reflects, doesn't it? But essentially, uh, the judge's opinion in this case is that what OPCA-type litigants uh, do is a medieval alchemy is a helpful analog. So he's making this, drawing that analogy. Alchemists sold their services based on the theater of their activities. So just think about the coronation that recently happened. <laughs> uh, just think about uh, the pomp and ceremony of how Parliament operates. Yeah. And uh, think about the pomp and, you know, fancy dress in yeah. the courts. Yeah. Uh, rather than demonstrated results or analytical or systematic method methodology. So uh, it's interesting. Uh, when you see the judge with something like that. 
Mm. Uh, and uh, I'm quoting very much from the judgment here. And uh, so it'll be looking at those, comparing, contrasting, so that people can get an idea of what is uh, classed as opka, get an understanding of what they're trying to do with you if you basically question the existing system. Mm. It, it becomes this label, divide and conquer. Mm. Uh, and in that last slide you saw, you know, they claim that it's devoured of basically logic and reason and is just trying to make nonsense up. So we'll look at this over the next few weeks so that people can see the sort of things that they're talking about uh, and make up their own minds if uh, it's who's doing the pomp and ceremony and the theatre. <laughs> uh, and is there any validity of it? But fundamentally, it's if you question the existing system, you yeah. have to put a label on you so that they can divide and conquer. And you'll see there's not much substance in uh, much of what's in that judgment. No. Uh, there's a lot of stupid things, in my opinion. Uh, people try different stuff. Uh, but at the end of the day, uh, we've got to try and find what works. So, absolutely, yeah. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Um, so... Um, all in all, then, what people will will hopefully gain is a much better understanding on uh, what what we should be arguing and what what we shouldn't be using, um, and to understand what substance over form really actually means as well. Yeah, and because, also what questions to start asking. Uh, yeah, uh, well, that's where it's all. That's what it's all about, isn't it? Asking the right questions. Yeah. Um. Yeah, brilliant. All right. Well, that's that's uh, hopefully it's going to be quite well. It's going to be quite interesting because, you know, I started off 13 odd years ago uh, listening to people talking about a lot of all this stuff. Um, and uh, today, you know, I've got a totally different mindset about it. My my, my outlook and uh, opinions have totally changed. Um, yeah, but everybody needs to go through their learning curve and test and experience if we have a choice either we learn from other people's experiences mm. and or we need to experience them ourselves yeah to create the motivation to do to change the way that we do stuff i think mark right what's really really important is people have got to start challenging not only the courts and the councils they've got to challenge people that are uh serving up all this nonsense yeah yeah absolutely. Right? they're serving it up talking 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 they don't point to anything they don't give you any references they don't give you any substance uh, some people actually say it's all in their head uh, i've got it all in my head i won't mention the, the, the that particular person's name yeah that's right mate it's all in your head <laughs> you know um but the material is about evidence and the scientific method that's got, the got best to get the evidence of the material listen if if someone if you're gonna listen to someone and they don't like you challenging them right you can see by this opca argument right what yeah. happens yeah they start pointing the finger back at you and blaming you and you're the problem no you can't you can't question you can't do this you've got to comply you've got to listen right so these people are no no different to what this is all about absolutely yeah Right. Brilliant. The end. <laughs>